All right, so number two, second one, new slide. Highlighter. Number two. All right, so a construction crew lifts approximately 560 pounds of material several times during a day from a flatbed truck up to a 32-foot rooftop. All right, so uh, here's a truck. Um, here's the load of material. This distance is 32 feet. Um, this weighs a uh, force of 560 pounds. pounds. A block and tackle system with 50 pounds of effort force. All right, so that 560 was our resistance. Our effort force is 50 pounds. It's designed to lift the materials. What is the required actual mechanical advantage? And how many supporting strands uh, should be in the pulley system? So I need to know AMA and strands. So there's my knowns and unknowns. Uh, lifting up 32 feet, and that's my resistance distance, so that should be that's the distance through which I need to lift it, um, where that force is being applied. So that's dr. Uh, so if I need an actual mechanical advantage, we're dealing with actual, we're dealing with actual forces involved. So, resistance force over effort force. Remember, actual is effort over resistance over effort. The, when you're dealing with forces, it's resistance over effort. When you deal with the distances, ideal mechanical advantage, that's effort over resistance. So, my resistance force was 560 pounds. My effort force uh, I only have to put in 50 pounds. I don't want to have to do more than that. Um, so 560 divided by 50. Grab the calculator. 560 divided by 50 gives you 11.2 um, pounds per pound, really. But really, those units cancel out, saying that my actual mechanical advantage is I only have to put in 11.2 pounds to lift one pound of material. So that's my actual mechanical advantage. My question is, how many strands, supporting strands, would I need in a pulley system? Again, in a block and tackle, you have your one cable you're holding onto, and if the load is attached to this that you're lifting, how many times do you want to go around how many strands you're going to need in that system? So that looks, it's a terrible drawing, but you get the idea. So how many strands do we need? How many strands supporting that? Well, we need an actual mechanical mechanical advantage of 11.2. For a block and tackle system, the ideal mechanical advantage, you could measure the effort distance or resistance distance, but it's really just the number of supporting strands is our ideal mechanical advantage. Supporting strands. Now if we had 11 strands, it wouldn't quite be enough. We can't have partial strands, so we're going to need 12 strands here, and actually we'll get a little, a little more for our money. We can't do no partial strands. We need 12 strands um, to reach an actual mechanical of at least 11.2. The, the uh, mechanical ideal mechanical advantage would be uh, about 12. And that's number two.